Fox 26 Morning News. The N word. It sparks a lot of emotion and heated debate. A lot of hip hop artists still use it in their music, though. A local activist says it's time to bury this word permanently. In depth this morning, the ever controversial N word. From the mouths of some people, it can cause outrage, but still used in a lot of rap songs. Some people even use it as friendly slang. But along active, but Activists say it is time to stop using it for good. Tammy Lang Campbell leading an effort to bury the N-word, and we mean this literally. She joins us this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. What do you mean, bury the N-word? I mean going and actually talking the N-word to death. We are going to have the ceremony on Saturday at 9 o'clock where we will actually be burying the N-word. The N-word is so offensive into we don't even say nigger, we say n-word mm -hmm. because of the, its offensiveness. But if you go into the dictionary, you can't find n-word, you will find the actual word. Mm -hmm. And my children and uh, their children would not have any options when they're in the classroom, when they uh, access the dictionary and look at uh, that uh, term mm -hmm. and see that they are defined as the n-word. It becomes um, a self fulfilling profit mm -hmm. when you talk about uh, building character and self-worth and yet you label uh, a race of people based on the color of their skin uh, as second-class citizens and the more that our children are being told that the more they are listening to it it's just like a child is being mm -hmm. abused they become an abuser in terms of the uh, hip-hop industry but my major problem is that my children are being taught that, they read that in literature, uh, uh, literature books. However, they're not being taught that Christopher Atwick, uh, who died, one of the first to die, mm -hmm. standing up for freedom, along with his fellow Americans, are buried in integrated graves. And this is what America is all about. We have to learn to embrace each other, to respect each other, and with respect, there's power in yeah. the word. And you'd like it to be so that, um, for example, if I were to say it, it would, be, it would be a bad thing, and we know that there are some communities that use it freely as, as, uh, as, as a friendly thing. You want it to be bad all the way around, and that it, it tears down people. Correct. Is, is your point. So you will be actually going through a ceremony. Tell me about the ceremony. It's when? It is tomorrow? It is tomorrow at 9 a.m. at Houston Memorial Gardens, and that is off of uh, Cullen. That's the oldest owned and uh, black operated mm -hmm. uh, cemetery in the state of Texas. And we will have this actually draping the casket. Uh, when nigger was uh, originally documented in terms of the, when you can go back and tell when it was first mm -hmm. used and the death of it along with its side effects. When we are talking about racial hatred, that is something that uh, of course, uh, that stems from racial right. uh, hatred, and it continues. It is a uh, side effect and a residual of, of uh, slavery. Well, with this uh, ceremonial bearing of this word, perhaps people will embrace that uh, thought as well. Tammy Lane Campbell, we appreciate you coming in this morning. Thank you for having me. Thank you.